I'm Jeff Koenig, and I was uh, uh, I was honored to be part of the Polish mural. Uh, this is our first one that we did as part of the South Omaha Mural Project in 2016. So this has been up for uh, six years already. The Polish folks in Omaha that met almost nine different times to hear stories from different people, and those stories uh, are arranged in such a way to put a slice of life of Polish community here in Sheely Town. And not just in Sheely Town, but all of South Omaha. On the far right, you see a regular family of having dinner. The, the kids are coming home to greet Grandpa. There's folks out in the garden who have been plucking tomatoes, of course, and, and, and a harvest. Here's a girl coming home from school. She's going to climb the tree, find out who's, who's playing the fiddle on the roof. All of these were different stories from people who had actually said, I remember this and I remember that. Laundry is hanging out between the houses. Sheely Town is the traditional Polish part of Omaha. And as we pan further, I, I, I don't know if I'll miss anything today, but uh, we can always come back to it. Uh, that church is ICC, and if you look on the other side of the interstate, that would be Immaculate Conception Church on 24th Street. So here's a family getting ready for dinner, and the wife is like, uh, where have you been? You know, you're late. Well, of course, he stopped at Dinker's Bar <laughs> on the way home. If you can take a look, his apron over his shoulder uh, is f blood from the packing houses. Uh, so she's like, yeah. But she's not really mad at him because she knows he's a hard worker. The young girl over here is uh, uh, Helen Sleva. That was one of her first dolls she got. She told us the story about her first doll. She also told us a story about Dingus Day, which I'll get to in a little bit. But if you look back on the corner of the, the house, as you look inside, there's a picture of the Pope oh, on the wall. Gosh. And then the Black Madonna, the Polish Eagle. I mean, everything was traditional and a, a part of our, our history and a part of the community that makes it all you know, just incredible. We actually studied Polish murals during a couple of our visits and learned about the, the long history of Polish mural making in Poland. And so when we got to this thing, we wanted a lot of life to this. And, and so in this slice of Polish community for one day, we have a wedding. The guys are... There's the wedding couple over there, but this is the, the best man who is breaking the chair to find out how many children the Polish couple will have. I did that once and I broke the chair to five pieces. The bride was like, <laughs> very mad at me, you know, but it, it, who knows? Yeah. As you see further, a lot of the rickrack, we went through the neighborhood and looked at some of the houses that still have some of the gingerbread uh -huh. up in the uh, uh, rafters and on the porches. Uh -huh. As we get further along this way, you can see the, the poppies are there, the poppies. Uh, there's folks always sharing bread, always sharing food. Another apple tree, hanging in the apple tree. You notice the boys are having water guns and they're shooting at each other. But this again was Helen, and then we told the story of being doused three times with buckets of water on Dingus Day, which is the day after Easter. The kids playing baseball, baseball was everywhere, completely. And as you look at this slice of the wedding, all kinds of things are happening. One thing that somebody might point out like me is oh Saint Nicholas. Saint yeah. Nicholas. Shvente Mikolai. Shvente Mikolai was wrestling with the devil. Ah. He won. <laughs> As you see the water fights, the couples that are getting ready, there you can see the ladies up there, they're getting 
better dressed for, you know, uh, you know the, the whole uh, wedding ceremony. Another church in the background. Is that St. Stan's? That could be St. Stan's. I believe it is. St. Asmus. There, we have. There's four churches here. Uh, St. Stan's, St. Albert, uh, ICC, uh, and I believe Assumption is listed on this one too. The accordion players are the Beelitz brothers, and the Beelitz brothers, all five of them, plus their dad, played the accordion. It was amazing. But here's the here's the wedding couple. You know, uh, can you see what they're drinking? Or they got a fresh bottle? Of course, it's a drink. It, it is. And they've got bread and ready to go off on their honeymoon. When we had the ceremony here that day, uh, we recreated this scene and they had it, somebody dressed as a bride and oh, they did yeah. the special dance and they danced around and the, oh, the yeah. uh, best man sang the song and danced around her and, and if you know the song at all, there's some lyrics in there that say you obey your husband and do what he tells you to do and then she gets up and says, well, not so fast here. <laughs> it's wonderful lyrics. This is one of my favorite parts. The White Eagle was another bar here. And the Polish one here, Polonia, you can see it up on the side. This is this story has those two parts to this. One is the broom in the window. If the beer dealers and wholesalers were bringing, uh, were, were there in the bar and had brought some beer, uh, they put a broom in the window. And that meant to all the neighbors, Guys, the, the the wholesaler is here. Come and get free beer, oh. and they did until the wholesaler left. Where's, because that's where's the broom? Here? Here's the broom, right? Oh, here. there. Okay, sure. Here's the broom going up. It was Polonia, but a little Polonia was a bar. It's still in South Omaha. Oh, yeah. Right. So we've kind of combined a couple of the bars into one. But this story, you'll see a couple of things. Those were the three main owners of the main. Uh, Polish bars here. Can you see the ties hanging yeah, from the string? In World War II, just as the Polish uh, young men were being sent off to war, in the basement of this building, they hung strings and they told the guys, take off your tie and put it on here and leave it in the bar. And when you come back, you can take your tie off. Probably had a hundred different ties. And I remember my dad telling this story. And I always get a little emotional telling it. Uh, the, the guys were like, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Because they, they were willing to fight. All the, the Poles have always been willing yeah. to fight. And they put their tie. And one wife said, that is foolish. Do not do that. You can't leave your tie there in the bar. So these hundreds of, and they had them crisscrossed and He's the only one who did not make it back alive. Very sad. Very sad. And that just, it's like, what? I remember the first time my dad told me that story. I was, wow. wow. Yeah. So now we're kind of moving towards South Omaha from Sheely Town. And a lot of things happening. Of the building of new barns and, and playing sports. And, and of course, there was always wildlife in the streets. <laughs> always a chicken, always uh -huh. a pig. We've got another one over here. And the pigs, of course, you know, could be chasing anybody, whether you were a uh -huh. member of the Falstaff <laughs> Little League team or not. A pig got loose and still chased you. Uh, this was kind of a fun way to look at all of this. The dancing in the background. The, uh, I, I think, there it is. Uh, I, let me back up a little bit. The big reddish building to the right was South High School. And that's where many of the Poles went, South High School. And the two buildings on the left with the smokestacks are uh, probably Cudahy's or Wilson's or Armored Packet Plants. I saw a name, Stolinski, on one of those. Uh, oh, there it is, Stolinski. That, that's Bud Stolinski, whose bar this was. Perfect. And you can see they put Livestock Exchange building underneath that. Always playing catch. There's always a pickup game. 
there's a story about somebody who gets knocked in the head by ball. I don't know what happened exactly. But as you get off into this corner, notice he's reading a book, English to Polish, Polish. dictionary, trying to exchange. There's a couple of kids up on the, on sitting on the truck. My cousin is one of the stories I told about him sitting on the wall of the stock of the stockyards and the men who were unloading the pigs said you can't come here every day to do this and he they, they found a baby pig that had just been born and they gave it to him and said if you promise not to come back then if you promise not to come back we, you can have this pig and you take it home and, and you can take it to your family so he did and as he took it home, that little pig, which was probably all a pound and a half or less, grew to 300 pounds by the fall. Ate wow. everything in her yard, all of the plants, all of... And they had to buy a freezer later on for good reason. But, a Polish uh, eagle up there. But he did promise. And a, a, another Polish eagle? Yes. I, I keep thinking, I think that one's on the truck. Um, as a, and then more on the side, uh, uh, Tom Jablowski, he's also represented as playing the guitar, or uh, playing the accordion. Uh, the little houses. Oh. This was part of, of the Dinker's Bar. They had, they have a storeroom. And so of course they just decided to, we decided to paint it and include it. And if you know Put with KMB yes. plus 2016. Yeah. So as part of the dedication, we... That's me. Yeah. So. so which one is this one? Is this one is supposed to come? I think the second one is. Play the accordion. They gave him the mustache. Oh. Who did the painting? Who did the painting? Mike Giron and uh, a whole uh, 30, 40 people. When we first did this, we had uh, I did it at nighttime and they had a big screen and they projected the outline. Oh. And the artist did the outlining and then it was kind of like paint by numbers. The very first night we came and we did the yellowish uh, tones and then the amber tones and then the reddish ones. And so if you look at the history, uh, over three weeks time, the colors just kind of popped. It was amazing. Uh, almost 50 or 100 uh, different uh, neighbors took part. Wow. Mike Jerome, I give credit to. Uh, I also give credit to uh, Gary Kastrick, who was our historian. And if you have not met Gary, he's uh, fantastic. And in fact, uh, we're going to have our South Omaha History Museum come back here soon. So, wash your fingers. <laughs> oh, perfect.